So going on next on the list, which I think is one that, man, I really wish Aaron was here for this, but um, oh, he no. quit. So, uh, yeah. But administration or political stuff, like uh, that is, we have gotten several questions about people saying, well, I don't, I'm not a fan of this current administration. Now this could be, and I'm not saying just this current administration, the Biden administration, I'm talking about, we got those messages with, with president Trump too. So it's not a, it's not a one, one sided thing. Are you um, saying a hundred percent of the country is never happy with who the president yeah. is? Yeah, I am saying that. Weird. <laughs> so I do not base my, my decisions and this translates to people that decide to get out because they don't like the commander that they have, or they don't like the supervisor they have, or the chief that's in the squadron or something like that. There are people that have left because they're like, no, screw this. I'm getting out. It's like, man, a commander is only in the seat for two years, maybe three. There is no more than three years that you have to deal with this person. Yeah. So anyway... Same with uh, uh, an administration. I do not base what I'm going to do off an administration, whether it's President Trump, President Biden. Uh, I'll just go through Obama, uh, Bush. Yeah, Clinton. I think that was. Yeah. Yeah. I came in 99. That was Clinton before that, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, oh, the old memories fleeting. Bah. Yeah. But well, yeah. anyway, yeah, go for it. I'll I'll tell people like uh, personally, I am not someone that subscribes to like political parties, um, and I, I've been very like um, politically aware since high school. Like I, I was always into all that stuff, right? And when I joined, I I was not a supporter of everything that was going on. Like if you ask, like at some point I'll be able to come on here and like share my personal opinion about the wars and why we got into them. And if I thought they were justified and all these other things, but that wasn't the reason for me to join or for to not join. It was more of a serving my country. And then I wanted to earn my opinions. You know what I mean? Like I, I had all these opinions about the political estab establishment and the military and all these other things, but I just felt like if I joined, I would be able to uh, see it from the inside, understand what's actually going on. Uh, you know, check off some 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 life things that I wanted to do, and, and see if I was capable of doing those things. Uh, but it didn't it didn't mean that I was agreeing with anything that I was I was signing up for, right? Um, necessarily. So I don't I don't know if I've voted for a single person that's been our president while I've been in the last twenty years. You mean you uh, voted and they didn't win? Yeah, I, I don't think I voted for anybody that won. And I know there's a lot of people out there that, that play the binary Republican Democrat game. You know, they're like, oh, oh yeah. so you must have voted for this guy. It's like, mm, yeah, or or someone else. Um, so, I well, mean, there's, there, there, there's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Well, there's also this kind of stereotype that all the military is Republican or conservative, and that's that's not the case at all. There's, yo, I mean, I don't know what the percentage is, but. You know, because you'd have to go through the records and see what everybody is registered as. Like, I'm, I'm registered as an independent because yeah. I don't subscribe to one party or just like you said, it's not binary for me. I don't, yeah. I don't go. Oh, it's all Republican. It's all Democrat or anything like that. So, mm. well, I mean, can't I didn't, contain me. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, anyway. And it's a weird thing, and I and I get it when people are like, "Well, I'm going to have like these like moral quandaries." Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Like you signed up to, to to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, and sometimes the things that are going on behind the scenes, beyond your control, don't necessarily line up with your values. Um, but it it it's nice when it is your decision when you're like in another country, whether or not you're gonna be more aggressive than you should be, or or do certain things that that may be out of bounds, you know, like and, and affect people that are actually where the rubber meets the road. So, you know, it, it it's a complicated question with a with no clear answer. Um, but like, here we are 20, 20 years later and, uh, the experiences have been mostly positive. Hey, I mean, yeah, dude, when, when, when you talk about a, a career, whether it's, you know, your first enlistment, you do one enlistment and get out at, you know, six years, you do 20, 24, there are going to be ebb and flows of good and bad times. Um, but the good far, I mean, like really, really outweigh the bad. Yeah. 
I, I mean, I can't. And usually the bad does not last very long at all. Now, that's not to say that, you know, when you when we've lost teammates or friends or, um, you know, you that's obviously something very, very different. But, uh, you know, having a having a bad commander or a bad supervisor or something like that, that is temporary and does not last very long. And usually there are things that you can do to mitigate it. Yeah. Well, yeah. With the bad commander, I was going to say earlier, like it, it's different for like if you're like a staff or a tech, right? Like you get a little bit of perspective but I have a lot of sympathy for the folks that join and you're like an A1C and you're, if you have a terrible commander, cause you remember when you were younger and like time like lasted longer, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, and then, you know, it's the beginning of your career. So if people are like, man, I had a really bad commander. I got out and it was like my first enlistment. I'm like, well, that makes a fair bit of sense. Like you only experienced, you know, so much of, of the, the military. So, um, but like, if you have like a master sergeant and they're like, I got out cause my commander was a, a terrible person. It's like, well, it kind of just seems like you didn't want to do the job anymore, you know, because yeah. you've seen them come and go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially as a master. 